ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You can find the bulk EGR file used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website, as well as the module injector cleaner under the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. There are a multitude of symptoms linked to an EGR breakdown. Loss of power, injection issues, appearance of warning lights. To access the EGR valve, you have to remove the air box. To do this, insert a screwdriver into the notch located on the front of the air bow, then shift the air inlet conduit. Disconnect the electrical connections. Take a flathead screwdriver and unscrew the clamping clips on the air inlet conduit on the turbo. Then shift the air inlet conduit. Remove the cable from its hooks. Using a 10mm socket, unscrew the two nuts holding the air box. Remove the air box by turning it clockwise and pulling it towards you. You can now see the EGR valve. Remove the electrical connections using a thin flathead screwdriver. Using a ratchet, an extension and a 10mm socket, unscrew the three screws holding the EGR valve. The valve can sometimes be stiff to remove. You should be able to loosen it free by making lateral back and forth motions. Okay, guys, if we can share this video with you and help you save a lot of money, is also thanks to our partner, Mr. Otto. So, if you want to support us and buy the part for this operation, visit their website. Okay, back to work. Take hold of your new EGR valve and compare it with the old one to ensure that both are identical. Replace the seal in the only way possible. Clean the seal area with a paper towel. Slide the valve back into position. Then screw the three screws back in. Finish up the tightening with a torque wrench. Reconnect the electrical connector. Replace the airbox, making sure the lug is in the right place. Reattach the cable to its hooks. Screw the two retaining knots back on. Place the air inlet conduit back. Then screw it back on. Reconnect the electric connectors. Reconnect the air inlet conduit. To complete the operation, take advantage of the opportunity to clean the injection system by directly pouring injector cleaner into your reservoir, which will help avoid numerous problems linked to injection and will guarantee an optimal engine ignition. Operation completed.
Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.